one thing I tell these girls is there's going to be games that you're not going to be able to shoot very well, but there can be games that you can't defend. And I think that's something that we spend a lot of time on the defensive end, um, just giving them defensive principles that make it difficult for teams to score. And I thought I thought our team last year did an excellent job uh, taking doing that in the postseason against some really good teams. Um, I think another thing is is dribbling. We expect all our girls to be able to handle the ball, um, and I think Coach Andrews does a really good job of. What known as since you know I kind of came in the program. I, I've seen Malia since she was a, a young girl playing in homeschool basketball. I've seen uh, Sid since she was young. Uh, her dad graduated a year ahead of us in school. My wife and I a year ahead of us in school, and and I've uh, seen her since she was little. Knew they had a lot of potential. Um, I, I guess I've known, hoping that we could win a state, um, but. I've known for a while. I mean, they, they're a good ball club. Both of them spend a lot of time um, working on their games, uh, being great teammates. And what those two have done is it's forced other girls to get in the gym and work on their games, which now, uh, as you can see, a lot of our girls have gotten a lot better because of that. I knew that we were really close my freshman year, and even though we lost key players, I thought like that some freshmen coming up and myself could really step up in the place and fill those roles. Even though it's gonna be really hard, I thought that we had a really good chance. Uh, um, I just pretty much had to know what my role is. Like, don't step too far out of my comfort zone, just do what I need to do and trust that my other teammates will do what they have to do to get us the win. My freshman season, when we went, we went to semi-state and then lost in semi-state, that's when we kind of realized how far we could go. And then I think, that pushed a lot of us to go further the next year. Probably since we started practicing. I mean, like, we knew we were going to be good, and we just had to work for it. So, I kind of ran the show, and um, freshman year, I had to, you know, learn the offense, and I couldn't just do what I wanted. I had to uh, follow the plays. Um, I always knew it from the beginning. Our freshman year, after. We won the NECC tourney, and then sophomore year getting to semi-state, um, I knew that we were going to win from the day one. I'm pretty used to it because he's done that my whole life. He did that with my brothers too when they played, so it's not, it doesn't, it seems normal to me almost. Actually, like the year before in eighth grade with watching Malia and Sydney, like we knew they're really good. And this year we're having most of the people back. Um, I knew probably from the beginning, like we, we were good. Obviously. You know, those those losses I thought were, at that time, you know, we kind of looked at it like, man, I can't believe we're, you know, we've lost those games. But I think there was good things that came out of that. You know, we understood at the time that we had, uh, our defense just wasn't very good. But in that game, we felt like, yeah, they're big. It's the biggest team we face on our schedule. But we felt we had an advantage of getting up and down the floor. And if, if we felt if the officials allowed us to get up and down the floor, uh, that they wouldn't be able to stay with us. In the locker room, I, I wasn't discouraged at all. I, I felt like, uh, they made those adjustments. We didn't react very well to them, but I felt like we were still where we needed to be. I felt like in that second quarter, the offensive output went down a little bit, and I felt like our defensive intensity went down. We, we spent a little bit more time uh, giving up offensive rebounds. Uh, we weren't able to get up and down the floor like we did in that first quarter, which, which I thought really uh, was the advantage to Winchester. And then the one thing we talked about in the, in the halftime was, we're going to come out pressure. We're going to get after them in the full court, we're going to get after them in the half court, and we're going to speed them up a little bit. And then we come out in that third quarter, and I thought we turned the tide a little bit. It went back and forth a little bit, and then all of a sudden we got that little cushion that we needed, um, and we took care of the ball, got I think like a 38, 32 lead. Um, and they just kind of struggled after that, and they never really gained any momentum, and I think we ended up winning 46-42. It, it was really unreal. Um, I don't think it's even sunk in yet, and it's been a really long time, but I just wanted to give everybody a hug because I was just so proud of how hard we worked through the offseason and during the season, and I was just proud of how well our coaches coached us to get us prepared to where we are, even though it was really hard. Um, it was a relief. <laughs> uh, there was a, you know, I was grateful the Lord gave us that opportunity, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I was grateful to my wife. One of the first things I, I could probably get choked up talking about this. One of the first things uh, I thought about was my wife um, because she did make a lot of sacrifices uh, so I, I could do this coaching thing. Happy tears, joy. Everybody was happy. I think the whole town of Albion was kind of in. We, when we came back with the fire trucks and yelling, everybody was up. 
It was pretty late. Everybody's up, ready for it. First thing was was wow. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just you know, it's just that moment um, when you know everything that you've worked for. You know, as far as an athlete has has come true. You know, it's just that sense of, you know, kind of sense of relief a little bit. You know, but uh, you know, through my mind, it was definitely wow. You know, excitement and you know, excitement for the girls, excitement for the coaches. Um, you know, athletic director. You know, you do have a little p a part in 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 the run, but it's it's not a bit as big a part as it is for the coaches and the girls. Uh, you know, or the community. You know, the community puts puts a lot of time in. You know, coming out and supporting the athletes, and and you know, it truly was a win not only for Central Noble Schools, but for the community of Albion. Yeah, it's crazy. Like your family's just like, oh yeah, she's a state champ, and you're like, yeah, I am, and they just always talk about it. Like the community keeps walking up to me throughout the summer. And they're like, oh, how's the team looking this year? And you're just like, like I'm just so excited. And then you're going to attend coming out tonight for the next game.